Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry from Jimmy Craft Shop and in today's video I will be unboxing this Fujifilm Instax Mini 11 camera and this Instax Mini Link. I purchased both from Best Buy. The camera was $70 and the printer was $100. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the Instax Mini 11 because that's probably what you're most interested in. It comes in this box. I picked the color Ice White. I'll show you the whole box just in case you're wondering what's on it. There's a picture on the back and these are the new features. It has one touch selfie mode, bright images, and custom shutter accessories as well. Alright, let's get started. There's no tape or anything on here. I think you just kind of pull up like this. <laughs> Oops, not like that. I guess you're supposed to pull the tab out like this and then you can open it from the top. Oh, it's in bubble wrap. That's cool. I actually really appreciate that they did that. Okay, so it comes in this nice protective bubble wrap pouch and it slips out really easily. It's like matte white. It's really beautiful. This is where the batteries go, I'm assuming, because of the picture. And this is the shutter button for taking pictures. This section right here is for attaching a wrist strap or even a charm. Here's the back. Super cute, and here's the little view hole too. Oh wait, you can actually see through it with the camera, that's kind of crazy. This is where the picture would come out of. This is how you open the back. You stick your film in here, in case you've never used one of these. Then you can close the back and you're ready to take pictures. This is where you press to turn it on, by the way. Alright, let's take a look and see what else is in this box. It looks like some kind of paperwork on the side. We'll take that out and examine it in a bit. It looks like it also comes with these AA batteries. I prefer to use rechargeable batteries, but it's nice that it comes with these at least. The box also includes this cute gray wrist strap. You can attach this to the little spot on the camera that I showed earlier. The last thing in the box, I believe, are these little shutter grips. They also come with little double-sided tape for attaching them. Alright, now let's go over the paperwork that came in the box. First is the caution statement. It reads, do not open the back cover until you have used the film. Otherwise, the rest of the film is exposed and turns white. The film can no longer be used, in case you didn't already know that. Next is this cute Instax community flyer thingy that shows you how to register. Oh, they offer DIY ideas too. That's really cool. All right, now we have this paperwork on how to put the shutter grip on, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I think it's showing you that you basically press the grip into the shutter button. I don't know, I can't really tell, but that's what I think it is. Okay, next thing is a simple warranty. I think, and then this little book that I believe is the manual or user's guide. It actually has a lot of really useful information in here. It shows how to insert your film and even how to remove it too. I don't know about the other papers, but I think you should definitely look at this guidebook if you've never used an Instax camera before. Now I'm going to show you how to attach the strap that came in the box. This is the same method that you can use to attach the charms to your device. I'm using this thin loop side of the strap and attaching it to this area here. You want to start by twisting the end of the loop like this and then sliding it into the hole in the camera like so. Usually it goes through more easily but I think I need tweezers this time. Okay I'm using the pointy tweezers that I'll link in the description box below and I'm just grabbing the loop and pulling it through. Once you have it through like this, grab the thicker part of the strap and push it through the loop. Then pull gently.
Now that you're done with that, I'll show you where and how to load the batteries. Alright, that was super easy and we used the AA batteries that came in the box in case you missed that earlier. Now I guess the only thing left to show is the grips. So lastly, these are the double-sided taped pieces that I was talking about earlier and these two clear things are the shutter grips. One of them is like a matte clear and the other one is more of a crystal clear. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, now we can move on to the Instax Mini Link. It comes in this beautiful pink box. I'll show you the whole box just in case you're wondering what's on it. I ordered mine in the color Dusty Pink. It also comes in white and dark denim, which is like a dark blue. This box is actually pretty easy to open, it's just like the camera box. Basically pull the tab and then lift the top open. First thing in the box is this USB cable. It looks kind of short but I'm sure that won't be a problem. The printer itself comes in this bubble wrap pouch like the camera did. Wow, this is so beautiful. It's like a matte, warm, pastel-y pink, and it has like a ribbed texture to it. It's so cute. I'm glad that I picked this one. Okay, I had some trouble, but basically it opens in the back like this, and this section is where you load the film. Alright, let's see what else is in the box. It looks like there are papers attached to the inside like in the last box. First paper is this caution notice and then a warranty and lastly the user's guidebook just like in the camera box. I'm guessing that this book is going to be super useful and informative like the last one so make sure to like to take a look at that. Alright that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also comment below if you have any questions or video ideas for us. Lots of love, Kitty and Jerry.